Tokyo, we hardly knew you. COVID quarantines made most of the city a bridge too far for many Olympic participants and foreign media, required to work and live in a protective bubble. The city was ready to welcome the world. Shuttered souvenir stores and empty fan plazas speak to its best intentions and to the reality of the pandemic. During my stay, I've been required to have a special app on my phone that monitors some of my movements and my health. Today, I look at it and it reminds me I've hit day 14. My quarantine is over. Now free to explore, I ventured into the heart of Tokyo, cruising elevated expressways that wind between densely packed office buildings, revealing a modern city of tony residential neighborhoods, fashionable young people, and lively crossroads. With fewer visitors, Tokyo retains a vibrancy, despite the fact the city is under a state of emergency. Just beyond its bustling shopping districts and gleaming office towers, Tokyo reveals its ancient soul. Its most famous temples and shrines frame so much of Japan's tradition and culture. Having covered 10 Olympics, the one thing that strikes me as I walk around and travel around is how few reminders there are that the Olympics are in town. There's a few t-shirts here and knickknacks, but what you don't see, things I've seen in previous cities of banners hanging from light poles, nothing that declares this is the site of the Olympics. Of course, the games drew some public resistance here, in part because of COVID. Isolating foreigners was a public health measure, the one that maybe left parts of this city isolated too. In the end, Tokyo did open its doors to the world, just wide enough to let the athletes and the competition shine in ways that it could not. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.